Tense moments tonight as the bomb squad detonates a homemade explosive at a Toronto elementary school. Good evening, I'm Andrea Case. What appeared to be a homemade bomb kept emergency crews in Etobicoke busy for hours. And while police say it was likely just a teenage prank, the consequences could have been serious. CTV's Jamie Marocker reports. Usually quiet on a Sunday, St. Eugene Catholic School in Etobicoke was a flurry of activity. Police, fire crews and the bomb squad called in for this. It was a small like black package by the like basketball net. Witnesses told police it was placed there around 5 p.m. by a group of three teenage boys. And when a neighbor saw them trying to light it, they called 911. I mean, it looks like your, your stereotypical acne bomb, you know, that you would see in a cartoon, really. But it was no joke. This guy kind of like in a bigger like black protective suit walk over and he kind of like poked it or something. Mm -hmm. And after multiple attempts to detonate the device failed, police decided to bring in the explosive detonation robot. We just don't want to take any chances of, of, of touching something like that. Warning our cameramen of dangerous debris before pushing everyone back. Finally neutralizing the explosive around 9 p.m. Uh, it did work, and there's no more danger to the community here. No, it looks like uh, possibly the kids might have wrapped up some fireworks or something. And while police say this may just be a case of kids being kids, it could lead to mischief charges. Meanwhile, the Toronto Catholic School Board says it will hand over any video footage. School is slated to open tomorrow. We'll have a counseling team uh, on standby just in case they're needed. But tonight, residents are just trying to get back to normal. It's, it's scary, but hopefully we're safe and everything's good. Mm -hmm. Grateful no one was hurt. Jamie Marocker, CTV News. And we are live outside the school tonight, where it is much quieter now. The school board says security is on scene and will be there for the duration of the night. Police are now looking for three teenage boys who they believe made the device. They say they're around 14 years old, white, and were wearing backpacks at the time witnesses saw them in the schoolyard.